Hello again, okay, here in this video. You know, I've made many videos on the division of the sexes, okay, and I've said it many times that the government's responsible, okay, but that it's global, it's part of the New World Order. Bankers are behind it, they're who controls the government. The bankers control the government. You just don't see it because they purposely keep themselves out of the picture. But when the division, most of the time when division is created amongst the sexes, it's always done by media or government. And it passes down onto the people. And I've said it was a global thing, a global problem. Why? Because globally they want people divided so that they can get their one world government. That's why. So here's a sickening story. Happened in China, okay? The people behind, responsible for the crime they did, got what they deserved, except for one. Except for one, that's right. See, it was a couple of guys, and it was a woman, that's right. And the woman was every bit as guilty as the men was. And they seen to it to execute the two guys, but not the woman. The public had an outcry over it, thank goodness. They were a little more awake to the division in China than they are here in the United States. But just the same, the government, once again, to keep their division going, creates division. How do they do that? By putting one gender up over the other. By not keeping even justice. That's right, by not keeping even justice. This is an example of the same crime done by a woman as was done by men. And this is an example of how the government keeps the division between the sexes. Because when the woman does the crime and the man does the crime, they don't get the same time. And in China, the woman did the exact same crime because she was involved in the exact same crime. And she's alive. Two guys are dead because the government executed them and left her alive. That's right, and that's because they want the division. It's because the bankers control this. And they've got to keep their division going because the division is global. It's not just here in the U.S. It's anything to keep the division amongst the sexes, the races, all forms of division to keep people apart so that they can get their evil wants. Watch this news report. Think about what I've said. The difference between China and here is the people were more awake to the severity of the crime. And when the government gave her less, they had an outcry about it. Because she did deserve the same punishment. But the government didn't because the government who listens to the bankers won't give the woman the same punishment as they will a man because they want to keep the men fighting the women and the women fighting the men. They want to keep that division at all costs. And this just comes to show that it's global. It's not here just here in the U.S. This is a global problem, not just here in the U.S. Watch this news report. Leave your opinions or comments to the next video. You have a good one. Two men convicted for their role in a tainted milk scandal that killed at least six children have been executed in China. Nearly 300,000 children fell ill last year after drinking milk laced with the toxic industrial compound melamine. A total of 21 executives and middlemen of the now bankrupt Sanlu Group were tried and sentenced in January for their involvement in the case. But the woman most widely blamed for the tragedy received a sentence of life in jail. Tian Wenhua pleaded guilty late last year to charges that did not carry the death sentence. This has outraged families of poisoned children who said that at the time they felt betrayed that she would not face execution. Melamine, which can cause kidney stones, is used in making plastics, fertilizers and concrete. But its high nitrogen content allows protein levels to appear higher when added to milk or animal feed. The scandal was worsened when it emerged that Sanlu officials were aware of the melamine problem by early August 2008, but the public was not warned until mid-September as China strove to put on a perfect face for the Beijing Olympics.
Matthew Stock, Reuters.